Josh Green here for Tanks and Tales. Delighted to be joined by Luke Woodhouse, qualified for the World Grand Prix, but not an easy ride, Luke. How was the final day in Hungary? Yeah, it was yeah, a little bit of a little bit of a whirlwind sort of thing. And um yeah, I didn't really overthink about it until till uh till I beat Peter or played Peter Oit and you know, knowing that they put me in with a chance, obviously depending on Jan got on in his game. So yeah, it's all a bit like like I say, a bit of a whirlwind, a bit crazy at the moment, knowing I've, I've qualified right at the last like, last sort of minute. So, but yeah, it's, um, I'm, I'm more than chuffed. The qualification didn't just come from solely that European tour, though. There's been a lot of hard work in the lead-up, and your form has really improved over the last few months, especially on the pro tour as well. How much has, has gone into this effort to get to Leicester? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get what you mean. It's not just sort of the one event that's done it, but... Yeah, I've worked quite hard this year and I, I sort of set myself a goal after after sort of the last few years qualifying for sort of the players and the worlds every year. And I wanted to try and get into into either sort of the match play or the or the Grand Prix. Fell slightly short on the match play, but I knew the Grand Prix was more than more than sort of gettable. Um so to like yeah, to get to get in obviously pay sort of homage to that hard work through the year. But yeah, my, my players championship, I've been a lot more consistent and um, and in my performances on the Players' Championship this year, I think I've only not picked up at three events, like picked up any sort of ranking. So, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm fairly happy with my form and, and the way I've been playing this year. Going into Hungary, what were your sort of thoughts around the Grand Prix? There was still quite a little, a little bit to make up and you knew you needed probably a quarter final to get yourself to Leicester. Did that seem very achievable at the start of the weekend? Yeah, I mean, I'm always one of these. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but I just take one game at a time. Um, I, I, I was obviously more very aware that it was in sort of Ricardo's um, in, in his hands, really. If he, I couldn't do nothing if he kept winning games. But obviously, when he lost the first game, then I sort of become aware that this is. Do you know what I mean? I think if things went my way. It's more than it was more than doable. Then obviously, it's easier said than done when you've got sort of the like. Obviously, I beat Rob Cross and beat Peter Wright, so. To come through those games, it's obviously shows I'm playing some good stuff, and uh, and yeah, but beforehand I was just more worried about winning, just keep winning games, and then uh, the rest will sort itself out after that. And playing well under pressure as well, those performances against Rob Cross and Peter Wright were top performances, beating former world champions. Yeah, well, like I said, I, I knew how, how tough the games were, and I, but I just I, I had to just put belief in that I've been playing well. And I've been practicing well, and I have to just believe. Obviously, believe I was more than capable of putting in good performances and and being anyone. I think this year is one of the first years where I felt really part of sort of the tour. As in, if I you draw a Rob Cross or a Peter Wright or Goo and Price or Van Goo, in, I'm not really phased about playing them anymore. Whereas previous years, you sort of like, well, if this is a big win, if I win this game, not that obviously it's not a big win now, but you just, I just don't get quite as phase by playing the top players anymore. It's just sort of, you feel part of the tour now. Yeah. For yourself, was there more nerves playing your games to, to keep the run going or watching the likes of Ricardo, Gian, and even Scott Williams late on? Yeah, I was probably more nervous watching Jan's game against Damon more than of, so I watched it backstage as well with all the other players sort of thing. And that was the most nervous I've felt because that's completely out of your hands, Ed. I didn't feel nervous in any of my games because it weren't like, oh, if I win this game, I'm in. Mm. I just had to win that game and hope it still went my way. So I never really felt any nerves or pressures of, like, oh, if you win this, you're in. I think it would have been interesting to see how it would be if it would have been that case. Whereas if I would have won that game, yeah. that meant I was definitely in the Grand Prix, but it was still out of my hands at that point. For yourself, getting to the World Grand Prix is a, a big step. You mentioned earlier it was, it was a target of yours to get to either the, the Grand Prix or the World Match Play. But now, not just getting to the Grand Prix, but pushing on and being able to get wins in those events and qualify for more, that must be a target. Yeah, I just I want to win as many games as possible and, and get into everything, really. I want to be, I want to try and push this top, the, the top 32. Um, and I've, like this year, it's, it's pushed me a, a long way towards that sort of target. I've still got a bit to go yet, but I want to be able to, you know what I mean, be in the top seven, the top 32 in the world and push him for, like say, the match play, the Grand Slam, um, 
you know I mean, the European championships and stuff like that, rather than just being one of them players that just always qualifies for just the players' championship in the world. I want to be in everything, really. Do you feel like over the last few years, there's maybe been a little bit of untapped potential with yourself? We've seen some great performances on TV at the Worlds a few years back, getting, getting to the third round. Um, but you, you've sort of, they've sort of been few and far between, really. There's been a great performance, and then you've not been able to back it up. If you're able to back it up, then the top 32, even higher, is, is possible. Yeah, hundred percent. It's 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 all about consistency, really. And I think at this moment in time, I feel like I matured a lot more as a player this year. I, I, I've got a lot more sort of patience with the game, if that makes sense. So, if whereas before, if I'd lose a game, it'd take me a while for the, I'd get wound up and I'd, uh, do you know what I mean? My head would go a little bit after the game. But I'm just sort of this year. I've just like I say, I've been a lot more patient with the game. If if it doesn't go right one day, it doesn't mean it's not going to go right the next day. Um, and every sort of game is a brand new game. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've been on the tour six years now and I've probably learned more this year um, than I have probably in all the other years put together, just with approaching the game better, uh, just doing little things outside the game that help as well. So, um, yeah, I think this year I've really sort of more sort of mentally and sort of matured with the game loads better. Something that's often mentioned on commentary is the action that you use obviously you have the pause usually with the first one and darts one and two but sometimes yeah. the third dart is just so i'm sure this has been mentioned to you yeah, so it's yeah. aware of what you're doing i don't i'll be honest with you i've done it for since i can remember and my one of my good one of my best mates he'll say like why'd you throw that last dart so fast even when i used to play league darts uh, and i don't really know i'm doing it i'll be honest with you but i am obviously aware and people and people I've pointed it out, obviously, in commentary and they'll say backstage to me and whatever, but I'd like to say it's something I'm going to really work on, but I, I don't really know I'm doing it, but I understand where people are coming from with it. Um, but it's just what feels natural. I, I don't... I'm not sure myself whether it's a, a hindrance to my game um, or not, but, yeah, I suppose from from a... Uh, an action and a like a consistency point of view. I suppose looking in, people would think I'd be better off throwing every single dart the same, which I understand. But the action is actually no different. It's just a quicker dart. It's not like it's a completely different throw or anything. It is just a, a quicker release. I think sometimes for me, when the darts are sat in the board and I just like the way it looks sat in the board, I just feel like I just pull my arm back and throw without that sort of pause and step. But I do understand where 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 people are coming from when they say about it. In terms of the World Grand Prix, the draw's obviously out now and you'll be playing Dave Chisnell, a player who's in excellent form of late, but you're in good form yourself and you must feel like the victory could be there for the taking. Yeah, like you say, Dave's, Dave's in fantastic form and he, he's proven over year after year after year how good a player he is and he's one of the best players in the world. But um, obviously the format with the Grand Prix is, is slightly different, obviously with the double in, double out and... I think it's the first round, the first to two sets. So it's a quick, sort of like almost like a sprint. So if I can get out of the gates early doors against him and put him under a bit of pressure, then yeah, you never know. But I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going there to sort of just, oh, I've made it. I'm, I'm happy with whatever happens now. I want, I want to go and put a, put a good show in and show why I've qualified for the event. Not, I don't, I'm not just there to make up the numbers. I'm, I'm hopefully going to have a deep run and, and, uh, and I'll, so I keep progressing more and more and more. Have you played much double in, double out, whether that's locally or, or anything? Uh, yeah, well, I haven't played lead darts for, for probably a couple of seasons now, but beforehand, everything around here was, it was double in, double out, one leg, of like 301. So it used to be quite, yeah, it used to be quite brutal around here, around my, the leagues around here years ago. But yeah, I used to play, every league was double in, double out. So I have played, but not for a couple of years, not consistently anyway. Obviously, you're in, in the stable with Michael Smith and Callum Ridds, who also managed to, to get into the, the World Grand Prix on the, the final day. Yeah. How much of a, a support and sort of how much have you been able to learn from those guys having around you? Yeah, they're brilliant to be in the, to be in the same stable, like they're saying the management team with, 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 with Michael and, and Cal, it's brilliant. And I room with Cal, so we probably spend more time with each other than we do with, with our own families, really. So, um, Cal's brilliant. We're, we got on really well and we don't, to be honest, we don't really overly speak about darts that much when we're together. We just chill out, go and play snooker and stuff. But like 
we always go in the venue and we all, we'll practice together and and um, to see the talent he's got is is amazing and and to see what he's done as well. And obviously, you no, know, Michael's world champion, so far, but he's been on tour a long time. But to see what Cal done in a short space of time, it shows that for me that what's achievable and what 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 can what can be done. Do you know what I mean? So um, yeah, it's definitely good to have those two around. And like I say, with Michael as well, he, he's he's um, he's good to chat to and he'll speak to about anything really that you, that you think. Do you know what I mean? Can be improved on or or how to approach tournaments stuff like that. He's he's had chats with us before, so yeah, it's it's a it's a definite benefit having being in the same sort of management team as um as as both of them really. Yeah, well, uh, we appreciate your time and uh, best of luck for Leicester coming up, mate. No problems. Thank you very much.